Now to our new series, Before You Take the Leap, looking at a tough topic to conquer before taking the next step in a relationship. Well, this morning we're starting with the conversation about finances and why it's important to address before marriage. Eva Pilgrim is back with more, and Eva, there are questions you can even ask on the first date. Yeah, Michael, I mean, I know money. It's one of those subjects many people don't really want to bring up on a first date, but Bachelor favorite Jason Tardick says, we should all do it. He's opening up about his own mistakes in love, saying finding out about your possible future partner's finances could tell you a lot about if you're compatible. When you fall in love, there's one topic new couples hesitate to bring up, money. I got caught up in what I call the love clouds. Stories can shift, context can change, but numbers don't lie. Bachelor Nation fan favorite Jason Tardick sharing the lessons he's learned from his life and his career in banking when it comes to talking about finances in his new book, Talk Money to Me. Was there a point in your previous relationship where you knew you needed to say something about money? You know, I, I look back at those days and I lived in Seattle and I ended up moving to Nashville. And then the first weekend we rescued a dog together. You think about all the moving parts there and someone who has the experience that I do within you know, the personal finance realm and, and still at that level, I wasn't stepping into conversations that needed to happen. Jason outlining the money basics every couple should discuss. You got to know your individual's credit score. You got to know annual expenses. You then have to know what they are making per year. I want you to go over every single account and what the value in those accounts are and where they are because we know there are a lot of hidden accounts out there. There's something called debt to income ratio. So I want you to know that there's a net worth section, understanding one another's net worth and benchmarking it. Then you want to understand what their total risk tolerance is. And then the last one is what age do you want to retire? Money, one of the leading causes for divorce. Jason says it's important to find out early on if you're financially compatible. I think like even if you're going on a first date, you could ask questions like you win a million bucks today. You got to spend every dollar. How are you going to spend it? Or something even funny like last six months, what's the most outrageous purchase you made? Because a lot of our consumption has to do with our behaviors, and a lot of behaviors create connection when we openly talk about them. Because that's a hard thing to share. Yeah. I, what I've learned about this topic with money is the only way to get other people to share is to show your cards first. But if I want to achieve this idea of normalizing money and talking about it, I think you have to lead with an open hand. What are you hoping comes out of this book? I'm hoping that people really just can get comfortable with the idea about not weaponizing money, understanding that every single one of us has some form of financial hardship. You do have to step into the conversations with the people you're marrying. It causes all kinds of awkward conversations, I know. But Jason's book, Talk Money to Me, is out tomorrow. Everywhere books are sold. I did ask him the really important question I think most people want to know, which is, is he dating someone? Because, uh -huh. you know, he's been single for a while. He wouldn't say there was a definite person, but he's been back out there, and there's someone interesting. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna dive more into these tough conversations you need to have before having kids or buying a home later this week. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.